Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam Wolf and today we've got a first impressions video for you. This uh, this footage came from my recent live stream and um, yeah, we're, we're jumping right into this head first. I mean, this is a brand new IP from EA um, and a Ascendant Studios. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about this game. I've been really excited to play it. I will say that my um, expectations were maybe a bit on the high side, even after seeing some reviews on it uh, and getting some feedback from those guys. But uh, this is a first impressions video of Immortals of Avium, and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys think of what I think of the game. So we're gonna show some gameplay. I'm gonna try my best not to uh, spoil anything. Uh, this is the first two hours of the game, but I am going to be cutting this up, so just be ready to have a bunch of stuff skipped, so that way I don't spoil anything for you guys, and uh, I kind of get as much pertinent information out there for you as possible. So, let's get into it. Braided lords of Celtis surrender to the shoulder. Their magna burned alive as they watched. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glaivegate fell. To Sandrak, the bold and terrible tyrant of Rayshard. They called him their ruler, as he was of east and west. And the horns of their ancestors trumpeted blood. Protest. Hardcore. Hush. Passage to the sands of Oroman was secure. The Sky Islands. Careful. Ever wore I'm being careful. With winged as careful as last time. Careful, uh. And the That's not a word. Earth yawned wide as he spoke, declaring the Magni of their order now vanished. Damn. You think Sandrak really talks like that? I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm concentrating. But line. But I am not. But I am not the man content to simply wander. I am. I'm wandering every third word. I'm distracted. Go go go. No one cares about Arthur Norman. Hold it Sandrak's coming our way. Got it. Let's go. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone, please take your seats. Hey, wait up, Luna. Over here, Jack. Right. It's running at 60 FPS if you're wondering. So it just it's unfortunate that there's no graphics mode. But um oh well. Alright, interesting start. I heard that this game was uh it had its own humor, so like it was um it was likened to Guardians of the Galaxy type of humor. So like some some dialogue might be cringy, but it's a cringe that the writers kind of, you know, went head first into rather than like, you know, trying not to be cringy or tr or being cringy while trying to be serious. But no, they they knew what they were writing. I think he just likes to say caper. Caper. It's a fun word. Feels sneaky. Also, you two stay out of topside. 
There's no motion blur at all. Uh, that's not okay by me. No one's using the cargo lift. Target practice? Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Saren Underbridge. It's janitorial work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? Nice. You'll make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a war, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. Huh. Rashan's got no idea what's coming. Make corporal I can even buy land. The whole farm just full of boots. Look, I know I keep saying I get it, but I don't. Not really. You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Ever War. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the time. You're not even going to try. Besides, I don't want to fight in the Ever War. I want to fight for Lucian. Exactly the same thing. Just shut up and shoot. You know, it's interesting. <clears throat> it kind of looks like um, what Jack is saying and the way his face looks doesn't really match up. At least that's how it feels to me. Okay, so from my understanding, obviously that's not where I'm supposed to shoot. From my understanding, you've got three types. You got blue, green, and red. Blue is your DMR, you know, sniping type of accuracy magic. The green is like an SMG or assault rifle, automatic fire, and then the red is like the shotgun. So it's going to be interesting. But right now there's no aim assist because, well, we're shooting these things. Let's go. I know I'm, I'm being very nitpicky. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, is that the PS5 is capable of so much more, and I just don't know if they made the right decisions for the visuals right now because again there's no motion blur to hide all this artifacting which it would it would help at least um i don't know if they're using the i don't feel like they're using the right upscaling technology i don't know it's weird at minimum it should have been fsr 2.0 not one but this definitely looks like one i could be wrong we're going to be waiting on digital foundry's coverage if they ever actually do cover this game Game face, Jack. Yep. Which I hope they do, because I'd like to find out if I'm right. Oh, did you guys see that shadow? Oh my god, that looked awful. It was extremely I don't know jagged. Where any of this stuff is. Um, okay. There's a long, long cut scenes. Um, not really accurate. Good. See, Blink has a uh, has a cooldown. <clears throat> All right, so if you guys had noticed. That cutscene when they were in the field, that was a legitimately, I believe to be pre-rendered cutscene because it was very high quality. There was no, none of this noise here. I mean, you can even see it unless that's part of the environment. No, that's definitely um, visual. No oh my God. Oh, my you guys are seeing that. You've got to see that on the left side there. Oh my God, that's terrible. Ugh, I can't look at it. So, yeah, that's not good. I really wish they had a, uh, really wish they had a, uh, a graphics mode in this. I'd rather take the 30, 30 FPS, upscaled resolution, or higher resolution at least. 
cleaner textures, everything. It's not looking great. You can even see it right there. I don't even have to move the camera. Like, you can see it. It's awful. Wait, so what was the shield? Was it L2? Nope, L1. Yeah, it kind of just locks on. And if I'm lucky enough to hit them in the face, then it gets a nice little... Uh, Get a nice little uh, crit right there. See, my reticle's a little off, but it's still just going to do it anyway. It's just going to lock on, so I guess that's the aim assist, quote-unquote. And that's where I think I feel like I should probably turn down the... Uh... Oh, okay, we don't grab ledges apparently in the future. And it doesn't look like there's any spot that leads back to here, so yeah, I gotta be able to get up here somehow. Can't just like dangle that in front of me and just be like, oh, by the way, you can't get this. I bet it's like one of those situations where it's like, oh, you can't get it yet. Which I hate. I don't want to backtrack. <sighs> Damn it. I was thinking I could stand on that little thing. Why is there no ledge grabbing? This is so not not current age. Fine. Fine. I give up. So that's where we were. So we could still see where we were, which is pretty cool. Oh, they expect me to jump down from here, don't they? Can I can I go down on the rocks or how does this work? Well, let's give it a shot. Nope. Insta death. Wow, that's dumb. All right. So don't touch that. Maybe I can just jump. Insta death. Really? So how are we supposed to get it? Oh, don't okay. don't do it again. I see no pathway. All right, whatever. I'm obsessing over nothing. I just figured it out. Yes, I'm a, I'm obsessing over it, all right? I can feel your judgment. All right, where is it? Is it over here? It is over here. Unless this one is just broken. Really? So you're going to tell me that it just doesn't work and I hate this already. Not the game, the fact that they are doing this right now. So I saw this from up there and I guarantee you that's what you use to lash on to like swing yourself places and it won't let me. I don't know how going up over there would correlate to going here, but hey. Can I I bet you I can't use the lash to get it. Nope. Okay. They don't want me to have it. That's fine. I'll get plenty of gold somewhere else. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This The, the look of this game kind of reminds me of Paragon. I miss that game. That was one MOBA I was willing to actually really spend some time on. Whoa! Ow! Hey! Knock it off! What's in here? Anything? Nothing's, nothing is in here. Really. Which, by the way, I meant to actually say this earlier. If it's magic, it wouldn't be... There would be no recoil. <laughs> Obviously, it's a gameplay thing, but there wouldn't be any recoil. It's not a physical projectile. Secondly, if Lumen is active in this game... Why is, why is this not lighting this area up like it should be? I mean, it may not be active on the consoles. I don't know. I could be wrong. I might have misheard, but I swear that they said Nanite and Lumen were both being used in this game. Oh, hey there, guy. Did you just kill my buddy there? 
Oops. You didn't know who you were messing with, man. They come. I always thought that the green one, when I saw the previews on this, I always thought the green one was going to be my main. It still can be. But the shotgun is just way too powerful to not use. Well, let's give the green a go, huh? You're welcome. Dude, lock me out. I literally just have to backpedal and just light him up. Wow, I missed a stationary box. Cool. I kind of wish that they would have implemented a system where if you got full crystals and you come across any crystals on the ground and you, you're already hurt, it just automatically uses one of the crystals on the ground instead of you having to spend one, then pick up another one. It's just, you know. Semantics, I guess, but still. You know what? I know this is my first playthrough and I really should be playing with everything, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and go through this game with just one one magic ability, and I choose green. Collect Arcanum by defeating enemies by and exploring Avium. When your Arcanum bar is full, I'm saying things really weirdly, you earn ascensions that you can use to buy new talents. Well, what do you know? You can actually earn something in game and then use that earned currency to purchase something in game. <gasps> what a novel idea. And this came from EA. Spend ascensions to buy talents, which give you new abilities, and increase your power. Okay. So press L2, R2 to cycle through the talent trees. Press X to select a tree. All right. We're obviously going to go green magic. Let's do it, huh? Right, guys? We're gonna do one one magic ability and see how we do. I'm game. I'm in for it. Shit. Sir, a Roshanian airship wearing Order of Masks colors just flew over my location. Going to check it out. Negative. I need you back here. We know it's headed in the same direction anyway. It's not bearing for the front at all, sir. They seem interested in some kind of temple way out here. An Order Magnus is beyond you, Jack. Debatable. Sir, it's the hand. You're sure? Okay then, definitely sure. This just got very important, sir. Agreed. You're clear for recon only. Follow, but do not engage. Find out what the hand is looking for. Kirkin. Maybe engage a little. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Hello, boys. This guy probably should have just taken him down first. Somebody still shooting me? Oh yeah, somebody is. Come here. Went down that hole. Alrighty. Well, this looks like our first major puzzle, quote unquote puzzle. But uh, I think I will. Stop it right there. We're just under two hours, but I want to give um, my final thoughts, at least in the last few minutes, about uh, my first impressions on this, as I am recording this for a first impressions video. So, you know, please bear with me, those of you who are in the stream. Um, all right, first impressions. 
the writing it's okay um it's not uninteresting the gameplay it's good i think it'd be better with um a keyboard and mouse i feel like it would be even better if the aiming on controller was a little bit more refined because it, it definitely feels very like it's quick don't get me wrong but as you saw i was struggling with the sensitivity because even dropping it by five percent it feels way too slow at that point um the graphics are i mean i imagine they're gorgeous it's unreal engine 5 uh however the playstation 5 has not been it's not been refined enough there's a lot of ver visible artifacting and noise from shadows from possibly the upscaling method they're using if they're using one which if i am a betting man that's what they're doing and it's very it's not good i i would assume like i said i think it's fsr 1.0 or one something version one which is um not a good upscaling method it's not even an upscaling method technically fsr 2 is but they're not using that here they're using something and i'm gonna guess it's fsr 1 i do wish that there was a performance as well as a graphics mode something you could swap between the only th I, I did not expect to see only one option in the display settings, and that is colorblind mode. Okay, that seems a bit lackluster, even for a console. I'm just going to have this on because it's a little bit quiet. I wish there was like music on the menu or something to kind of put some ambiance in there. Um, so uh, the powers are cool. Obviously, they want you to use the different magic powers to bypass shields and all this other stuff be you know put some variety into the game i'll be you know we're gonna try with just one major spell we're gonna try and just stick to the green uh magic spell and see if we can actually go through the game the majority of the time with just using the green um it'll be interesting it'll be an interesting uh experiment but first impressions are if you're gonna get this game get it on pc if you've got a beefy PC, because like I said earlier, apparently it's quite heavy. So make sure you're you're stacked to the gills. I'm talking a 3090 at minimum, which is kind of insane to think about. But hey, that's where we're at here. Um, because as of right now, the PS5 version needs to be fixed there. I don't know if this was intentional. I don't know if they somebody had to have tested this because I mean, look at this like you could literally just moving the camera causes some visual noise um, in this area. Not so much. There's not a whole lot of shadows to speak of. Not a whole lot of shiny things. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was like reflections aren't really working right or just the specular highlighting on, on metal trim or metal things really is uh, not working correctly, but there's a lot of visual noise and I, I don't like it. It's not good looking at all. There's no motion blur, which I don't like. Um, and I would have rather had a 30 FPS cap than a very, very unstable 60. So first impressions are kind of mid, you know, probably about a five out of 10. Um, I think it's going to be a fun game. But I have a feeling I'm going to be finishing this game before they even actually patch it. Um, that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your time and attention as always. And uh, please join me again tomorrow night where we'll continue right from here in wherever this place is. I forgot the name already. This temple of something. Alistea or something or Alistea. I don't know. And uh, see where this goes. Um, but yeah, please join me again tomorrow night for more Immortals of Avium. And we'll see where Jack goes to. Probably going to be facing off against the hand at some point. But until tomorrow night, same time, same place. 
I'm Adam Wolf. This is Immortals of Avium. And I'll see you guys later.